In this video, I'm going to give you my top five reasons not to move to Moreno Valley. So if you are thinking of relocating, please do not move to Moreno Valley until you watch this video first. So let me tell you, my name is Julio Sanchez. I'm a broker here in the Inland Empire area. What it means to you is that I can help you buy and sell your home, even if you're selling your home out of the area. So if you are thinking about buying or selling a home in the Inland Empire, I want you to pick up the phone. Give me a call. Shoot me a text so we can connect and see what we can help you with. Also, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell so you can be notified every time we put new videos out for you. So if you are ready to dive into the five reasons why not to move to Moreno Valley, I'm ready to start. Here we go. I'm so glad that you are watching this video that you found my YouTube channel during your search. This means that you somehow have some interest on buying or selling a home or the very least on what the local real estate market is doing. So I hope the information we are about to share here is of value to you. Generally, you are told move to Moreno Valley. You love it there. There are so many parks, nice areas to live in, plenty of shopping and lots more to do. But I'm telling you, watch this video before you move to Moreno Valley and please keep an eye on reason number one because you are gonna be surprised. Also, make sure to stay until the end of the video to hear how you can get a copy of my home buying guide, a guide to home buying process absolutely free. So now you're probably wondering, when are you going to tell me the five reasons for me not to move to Moreno Valley? So here we go with the reason number five. The reason number five to not move to Moreno Valley is the food. As you can see, I don't like to skip my meals. And you can expect to find anything in Moreno Valley like from Indian food, Mexican food, sushi, barbecue, Italian food, and tacos. <laughs> Did I mention tacos? Oh, I only wish there was a Brazilian restaurant nearby. Reason number four is our local weather. Since we are in a transition area close to the desert areas, our weather is mostly sunny, especially in the summertime, with temperature ranges from 90 to 100 degrees on average. And in wintertime, the average temperatures are from 65 to 75 degrees. Some people may consider these temperatures as extreme, especially in summertime, and others will consider as a great weather for outdoor activities that can last most of the year. So if you don't like the sunny weather most of the year, don't move to Moreno Valley. The reason number three is that Moreno Valley is located on the middle of pretty much all the fun places, the visiting areas, things to do, mountains, and the beach cities. Most of the metro areas are located within one to two hour drive. So if you don't want to live in a quiet area, away from all the traffic, the fast paced life of the big cities, just don't move to Moreno Valley. Let me give you some information here. If you want to spend the day, let's say at the beach, maybe Oceanside, Newport Beach, or Huntington Beach, just to name a few, you can be there in less than two hours driving. Now, if you want to go to the mountains, Big Bear is about an hour and 30 minutes driving for some fun in winter time to do some skiing, just play in the snow, or even in summertime, just for a weekend getaway. Now, do you want to spend a day in Palm Springs and do some shopping there, maybe some dining? You can get on your car and drive east of town and you'll be there in less than an hour from here. If you feel like going for a baseball game, basketball game, football, or soccer, when they have their respective seasons, you can be there within an hour, maybe two hours, no matter which time you are going for. Now Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm, the Wax Museum, and other amusement parks are located within an hour driving. Downtown Riverside is located within a 10 minutes driving. If you are ready for a night out, 
some dining, or to enjoy the festival of lights in winter time. The Box Springs or the M Mountain, it has a hiking trail. If you enjoy hiking, I will recommend to hike the Box Springs or the M Mountain. The hike is about five mile round trip, and you can get there on the trails located behind the mountain or to the side of the mountain with a more steep inclination. But once you are to the top, I will recommend for you to spend some time enjoying the awesome views of the city that you don't want to move to. You can also visit or camp or just spend the day at Paris Lake. Also, you can visit the Paris Speedway or the Moreno Valley Air Museum or the VA Memorial or the Orange Rail Museum. And if you are brave enough, you can go to Paris and do some indoor or outdoor skydiving. <laughs> If you don't like to do any of these activities, just don't move to Moreno Valley. Are you finding this video helpful? If so, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And feel free to share with your friends and family and have them subscribe as well, you know, to help me with my self-esteem. Reason number two. The reason number two not to move to Moreno Valley is that within the city there are different great neighborhoods to live in and there are different lifestyles. For instance, Sunmi Ranch is located north of the city, or what the locals call it, North Freeway. You have access to their lake, a pool, a spa, they have a gym, a clubhouse, and they have several activities during the year. You may go, you may want to go fishing as well. And if you play tennis or basketball, they have some different basketball and tennis courts. Right next to Sunmi Ranch, it's Hidden Springs. This community offers some rolling hills and tree-lined streets, perfect for those morning or evening walks. Beautiful homes, and it is located on the full hills of the Buck Springs Mountain or the M Mountain, that offers a great hike and other activities as we already explained. Moreno Valley Ranch is another community that offers access to their own lake, and it also has pool, spa, gym, clubhouse, basketball, and tennis courts. The Riverside Community College and some other schools are located within this community. Rancho Bilago is located to the east side of town and offers newer and bigger homes with bigger lots as well. And the golf course is located in this area as well. Just like these four neighborhoods that I mentioned, there are some other areas that you may or may not want to inquire if you are not interested in Moreno Valley. Are you ready now for reason number one? So reason number one to not move to Moreno Valley is the cost of living. The cost of living in Moreno Valley, basically I'm just talking about housing prices right here. At the time of this video, the average price for a home in Moreno Valley is $473,479. Up from $405,500 just back in January of 2021. And the average home price back in January 1st of 2020 was $351,316, according to the Inland Valleys Association of Realtors monthly report. Do you see how these house values are on the rise? It's a good time to sell, I know. But if you're thinking of buying, you better do it now while the interest rates are still low and before the prices keep going up. Now, if you compare the sales price of a house in Moreno Valley with the ones in Fontana, they do have a sales price of $560,579 as an average sales price. The ones in Rancho Cucamonga are a little over $719,000. The ones in Corona, they're a little over $682,000. And the average sales price in Riverside is just below $600,000. And the average sales price in Riverside is $590,645. So the cost of living in Moreno Valley is by far less price for a home than if you were to purchase in any of these other cities and not to mention a home in Orange or LA counties. Also, another reason not to move to Moreno Valley is that there are new homes being built in several areas of the town. Yes, there are still are new homes being built throughout Moreno Valley. So if you are not looking to buy a brand new home, I'm just going to give you that information anyway, so you can see how much of a house you can get for your money. So for a brand new home, let's say 15 to 1700 square feet home with maybe three, four bedrooms, you can expect to pay maybe between 475 to 495,000. A home that is like 1800 to maybe 2100 square feet home 
with four bedrooms, you might be paying around 550,000. Now, if you're not looking to buy a bigger home, say like 2,300, maybe 2,600 square feet home, maybe four or five bedrooms, now you're looking to pay between 600 to 625,000 for a brand new home. Well, as you can see, these were my top five reasons why not to move to Moreno Valley. Do you agree? Do you have any more reasons? Please make your comments below and see if we can agree or disagree on our reasons. So if you are considering living in the Inland Empire, the Orange Crest, Riverside, Moreno Valley, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to my website, inlandhomesonline.com inlandhomesonline.com Once you are there, I want you to do a home search for the HIMO houses that will work for you in the price and area that you want. Or if you prefer to call or text me for a quick response, use the number on the description below. Now, like I offered at the beginning, if you are thinking of buying a home now or maybe a little bit later, send me a text with your name and email address and request your copy of the home buying guide a guide to the home buying process and I will send it absolutely free. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. And feel free to share with your friends and family and have them subscribe as well. Well, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Julio Sanchez and I'll see you on the next video.